Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart stores, has died. He was 74. James Hattori has more on the Arkansas billionaire who revolutionized retailing for small-town America. Though he'd been diagnosed with an incurable bone cancer in 1989, Sam Walton remained to the end a guiding force in the business empire, which made him the third richest man in the country. Just last month, President Bush presented him with the Medal of Freedom. Walton, always self-effacing, thanked his employees. And the greatest thing is that we've, uh, we've, got, we've got ideas from, from, from all 380,000 people in the company. That's the best part. He began with a single store in Arkansas 30 years ago. Today, Walmart is the nation's biggest retail chain, synonymous with modern discount merchandising. His stores changed the face of many small towns in the South, often displacing the mom-and-pop stores, which couldn't compete. Mr. Sam, as he was known, strived to instill a homey feel in his operation. He gave employees the opportunity to buy stock, and they profited. In return, Walton asked for a dedication to customer service. Walmart's future in the 90s will depend on how well you individually take care of each customer a day at a time, customer at a time, a store at a time. Walton's vision of service and growth survives him. Analysts predict Walmart's annual sales could double to $100 billion by the end of the decade. James Hattori, CBS News, Dallas.